Jen Magana here with Convicted Hearts. I am here with the lovely Adrian Smiley from Heart Intentions today. Hi. Hi, Hi Jen. How's it going? Pretty good. How about yourself? It's good. Hot? It's good. Okay. I bet. It's hot. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> We're here actually to speak about a topic that kind of drew both of our attention um, very recently due to uh, actually a subscriber's comments that came up. Mm -hmm. And we want to put this out there and, you know, get your guys' feedback, men and women. You know, what do you guys think as far as relationships like those maybe like the Chris Watts thing, men or women with funny charges? Would you be willing to get into a relationship or a marriage with somebody that has bad charges? Where do you draw the line? And what do you consider funny charges? That's that's perfectly said because it both Jen and I are highly um, uh, interested in why that is. Like, what draws someone? Yeah. To I mean, obviously, I I married someone that was in prison. Right. But he didn't have funny charges. Like I knew right. what his charges were. And not just by him telling me, I read transcripts, things like that to know. Yeah. So like, what if you were like, you know, what if you didn't want to know? That's the first thing, right? And yeah. what if you found out, like, would you be, would you like be like a mouse or would you be like, I know what I would do. I, what would you do, Jen? Like, yes. I, you know. Well, first of all, I consider myself, um, the female version of the FBI <laughs> comes to these things. And I would have ran paperwork and yeah. looked things up from the get go. Nobody's coming around me, my kids and right. my family until I know what you're there for. Right. And um, if anything's funny and I think most of our audience knows what that means. Yeah. Um, there's no way. And if I was already in, a relationship or dealing with someone and found these things out, I personally would cut that immediately. Right. That is something I myself, I have no, no how, no way. I have not looked past ever. Yeah, I agree. So, um, so we'll give, uh, I'm, so I, what happened was we had, um, so we were on my husband's channel, uh, Mitch at Hard Intentions. We were on a live. And there's this one person, I'm just going to refer to her as BB. And, um, and she is on, there's a couple of things Jen and I noticed. One is that she is on a lot of different prison genre channels, yeah. mostly male. I mean, mo am I still frozen on your end, Jen? Okay. Not sorry. now. Okay. Not now. So um, mostly, uh, mostly males, obviously channels that she's on and pretty big channels that she yeah. would go around to. She's not the only one. There's lots of those. Several. So, yeah, several. Um, so for whatever reason, whatever that intrigues me too. But anyways, um, so we were talking about life sentences and, um, at one point I had asked her, I was really intrigued by her story. Um, yeah. she, she was married to a lifer who had, uh, died of COVID in, um, this is all public knowledge. She told everybody. Yes. So, yes. um, and the weird thing is that she referred to him at first as her husband. Then she referred to him as her ex-husband. Um, so, okay, whatever. So Jen and I were like, Hey, like her story is kind of interesting. Like we should totally do an interview with her. Like I wanted to. So we were on a live one night and she said, by all means, I would be interested, but I think you should go to my channel first and check out my, um, my videos before you ask me that, because you might not feel the same way. Yeah. Right? I remember so, that. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. Of course I'm going to go look. And this was, a, this was a while ago. So I go on, um, I thought it was odd. She was wearing dark glasses, like not showing her face really. Um, and she's been a really big supporter of our channel. Uh, she'd always come on, whatever. So, and I see she has like newspaper stacked in front of her. So I only watched about five minutes cause I really, it was difficult to, to watch. 
Um, so pretty much she goes in and tells the story about how apparently she was called out on another channel, another prison genre channel, um, because they were like, do you know why your husband was in prison? And she said, no, I didn't know why he was in there. So the reason she did this video was to explain to people that she didn't know why he was in there. So what she proceeds to do is start reading this article um, about why her husband was in prison. And mind you, it was in the late 70s. Um, the only thing I'm going to give her is that, yes, there were not, uh, there wasn't an internet where you could just look it up. But that courthouse is open for anybody to go see. And if you're going to visit somebody on death row or you're going to go see something, I'm pretty sure that you would want to know why they were in there. This is my opinion. It's not disparaging and it's not slandering. So let me just be clear about that. So, um, so I looked it up and uh, Mitch had said, she asked Mitch if, she, if he knew him and Mitch was like, no, I don't know him. But when I looked it up and pulled his photo up, Mitch was like, I totally know who that is. Yeah. And he goes, that guy's a piece of shit. So, um, so then I told Mitch why he was in prison, which Mitch didn't know either. So, um, but things started to make sense once he knew he was in there. So basically what happened was the guy is probably in his, I like early, maybe 18, 19. He might've been a little older than that. I don't know. Um, gets in a car with a 14 year old and I think a 13 year old, I may be off on the ages. So, but not far, maybe by a year and uh, basically tries to molest one of them. He tries to rape her. The other one tries to fight him off. So he literally, this is the part that got me is that he reached around the seat and uh, shot this little girl in the head and killed her in front of her friend and then kills the other one. So our, my thing is, is that, okay, first of all, why would you want to be, why? Like why, what would incline someone, anyone to, to do that? So we're gonna fast forward to the other night's live. So I, I know this and I've known this for a couple of months, but we didn't say anything. Wasn't, you know, I just didn't feel like it was the right venue. I didn't wanna put her on blast or whatever. <clears throat> so she decides to put herself on blast. Would you agree? Uh, yes. Okay. I, was, so I was shocked. I, was I will, post, watching I will right post up what she, her comment, but basically she asked Mitch, let me rephrase that. She asked me, she said, Correct. do you mm -hmm. feel like people who, um, we had been talking about child molestation and rape and those type of funny charges. That was the topic about, it's a prison channel. People are talking about how, you know, no, they shouldn't live and no, like it's the norm. It's the norm for this genre, right? And I would think most, feel very strongly. most of society yes. feel that there, there's a special place for them, right? Mm -hmm. so, so she reaches, so we're on this topic and about forgiveness. And she says, and so Mitch said, no, I don't feel like, these people should be forgiven. They should rot in hell and something really, you know, when they're in prison, bad shit happens to these people, blah, blah, blah. So then she says to me, not to Mitch, but she says to me, Adrian, so you're saying that you don't believe that someone should be um, forgiven, um, forgiven for this type. I don't think she said this type, but you're saying that someone, someone that people that there's certain people that don't deserve a second chance is what a second said. chance yeah and so mitch went in and so mitch was like hell to the no like anybody that's in there for hurting old people women or children are off like i don't want nothing to do with them and there's a special place for them and they're pieces of shit in a nutshell again this is a prison channel. It's not that far off in the general public for that feeling. So she messaged me back and she said, um, okay, she was one of our mods and she said, I'm just going to read it again. Cause I froze, uh, Adrian, that would mean that my life or fiance would not have a chance to positively give back to the community in effort to make amends. Well, that's offensive. Keep your wrench. I'm out all the best. Okay. So then on the same live, I'm like, 
if you have something to say or you want to say, but then say it. But what's intriguing me is that you're not saying what your current fiance right. is in there for. Right. And here's the thing that, that struck me. Yeah. That comment. In no time of that conversation was her fiance ever mentioned by any of us. So right. she threw that out there. So afterwards, I mean, since the topic was what it was about yeah. bad charges, I noticed different subscribers started asking, oh, so you're saying your fiance is a chomo? Like you're with, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, that was put out there by that, that individual, by right. the BB individual. Right, and right. So we put that out there. I didn't put that out there. Yeah. No one else put yeah. that out there. But then Jen and I are like, who would in their right mind, I think we had like a hundred people on the live, like say something like that. So then we thought maybe there's something off with her. Like, I mean, why would you, maybe she want an exit plan. Yeah, she, was, so I, she had a channel. She, 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 um, after this live, she, what do you call it? Deleted. She deleted it. Right. And changed the name of her channel. And changed the name of her channel. Yeah. Why do I keep freezing? I think it's because I'm not moving or something. Anyways, oh. I keep moving. So, um, <laughs> so I, um, I, uh, so that was Jen and I's kind of first question was like, why would you put something out there like that right. on that channel and then not expect to get hate back? Right. Um, for that. And I was like, I was respectful. Um, but she came for me. That's what I felt. Yeah. Like. I mean, and so, yeah. um, so then she started saying like people like Mitch, you know, Mitch was a lifer, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she was trying to make a comparison between the two. And I was like, you can't make no. a comparison. No. Yes. Mitch had a life sentence, but you can't, but he had, uh, he was in for second degree murder by eating and abetting. I mean, like, uh, really clear, the person was an adult, Mitch has talked about it a lot on his channel. Um, but it was weird. It was like, she threw us a bone, but she was like, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to say what. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was an odd situation. And that night, even I kind of discussed it with my daughters and yeah. my daughter that's studying psychology said, well, mom, that was a loaded question. So my that's opinion she wanted to exit like she wanted an yeah, exit plan just that's get off. what my daughter get said she said that was a loaded question right. there is something behind that i agree now, and then um is, and i don't know then, what was it the next day um she decided that she was going to post a comment and uh i'm not going to read all of it and again i'll put it up there um, but because some of it is so disturbing that I just won't very extremely graphic. It's extremely graphic. So, um, I'll give you kind of the gist of it, but I'm not going to go into detail. So she said, I reiterate all lifers, i.e. murderers deserve a second chance. Mitch comma, a convicted murderer got his second chance during this live. Mitch had stated, you can't help who you fall in love with totally not tied to the conversation at all that's what the media does that's what she tried to do with this right. it wasn't even the same breath of conversation it's like guiding you in a different it way is. um uh therefore mitch chose to speak mean-spirited slanderous words talking badly about my deceased ex-husband whom i divorced over 30 years ago pause yeah i gotta come back to that one second sorry yes no please Okay, because I picked up on this, and I'm not saying this uh, to be a yeah. mean, but yeah. it's just factual. Yeah. I had watched uh, the video that we both referred to when she originally said, you may want to watch my video before right. you interview me. In that said video, uh, she mentioned she had divorced him, yes, but she mentioned they were reconciling. I forgot right? about that. The past of COVID, so... After you found out the actual charges, you were still reconciling. So, okay, go ahead. I had to. There's that. that. Okay. That's a, <laughs> that's a good point. Um, and at no point while she was on, at no point while she was on, did she start saying, did she ever say, um, oh, we were divorced for 30 years? I never heard her say that. She'd be like, 
you yeah. know, the system killed my husband, blah, blah, blah. But she never said anything about, like, we were all really sympathetic, right? Totally. We didn't know. Totally. And we were like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, that's terrible. Right. I mean, and so um, little did we know uh, why he was in there. Um, and, uh, uh, and she said, Mitch spoke an inaccurate assumption about what I did or did not know about my ex's offense prior to my still incarcerated ex's death at age 72. Um, how can you have an, it's an assumption. Assumptions can't really be inaccurate because it's an assumption. Exactly. And opinions are opinions as well. We all have. Exactly. So, um, uh, last year due to, he died at 72 last year to go to do the COVID uh, complications. Then Mitch chose to speak badly about my fiance. Mm, no, as a current corporate executive and law student class of 2024, like you're going to say that in the middle of a very serious like thing. I'm just like, what the Immediately, hell? Yeah. Yeah. And then that's also awesome. Jen, Jen Wentz. Isn't she? What else? What, what else? Is uh, she? Oh, what is it? My daughter is. Mensa. Yeah. Yeah. Part of the, you know, for gifted. Yeah. Um, so she, so before she used to say she was an attorney, then she changed it to law students. Then she is an immensa. She speaks like four different languages. It's just bizarre. Like, and Jen and I were noticing, like, um, she would say, like, uh, she would just talk to anybody on the channel. And if somebody said, hi, BB, she'd be like, oh, hey, you know, I was in the, I was in the system when I was a kid and I used to hang out in the, in the barrio and I was like down with it and what it was just bizarre like it was just like yeah, yeah. weird it was just weird yeah. um so not only you know is she an attorney but she's also like one of the smartest people in the world okay so um I have a heart for and intentions to legally assist elderly medically at risk inmates every human being can be extended compassion and forgiveness isn't that why Christ gave his life to redeem those who consider unredeemable? Didn't Christ minister to thieves, murderers, whores, the mentally ill, the dredges of societal depravity? I don't see the words in their chomo. I don't see the words in their elderly abuser or woman beater. I, I just don't. I don't see those things. Right. Like just saying. Uh, I'm sure they maybe they are somewhere, but I don't see it. Those who profess Christ Christianity may or may not. Um, may or may not choose to pause and consider this versus being quick to cast stones at others less fortunate themselves who are without hope of a second chance. I have enjoyed until last night, enjoyed participating with and financially supporting the channel, which was her choice. Uh, I wish Mitch, Adrian, and the entire HI family all the very best. And then she went in. She said, P.S. Uh... Basically, she goes through a blow by blow explanation of how she was molested. It was very how, calculated. Yeah, yeah very explanation. And, and about, um, again, I'm assuming that's why she's explaining this is because her fiance is in there for funny charges. Else, why would she be explaining this? And that, um, that she could have ended up like Eileen Warnos because Eileen was molested and you know, she could have become a serial killer, but she doesn't. So she has sympathy. There's a difference between a murder. She can call it any way she wants to call it. There's a difference. Yes, there is mm -hmm. to me and mm -hmm. to Jen yes. and to lots of others, but maybe right. she feels differently. So we did extend the opportunity to BB to uh, talk to Jen or I about her feelings about it and why she felt this way. But of course, there was no response. So, and we waited several days to yeah. see if we would hear back. And yeah. there's still an open invitation, you know, if she would ever like to explain her feelings. Absolutely. That way. I'm not opposed to that at all. And Jen saw you, and I was like, you don't want to talk to me, talk to Jen. Like, but I think what the moral of the story is where we were going with this really is that it really intrigued Jen and I to be like, okay. A, why would you come, why would you just declare that in the middle of a live on a prison genre channel where there's a hundred people on it? She was like, like your daughter said, she was like, look at me. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. And being a part of the prison community and following several channels, 
there's no way she could not have known the way people feel about those charges. Right. No. Right. I think okay. it was an exit. I think she had an exit plan. I mean, there, why else would you go there, throw a bomb, and then run? And right. Delete your video. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's just like, and I thought it was, I mean, I don't, Jen and I don't know how long that video was up. Right. Um, that's true. Uh, we don't know, but I thought it was really odd that she put it on there. So let's talk about mental health mm -hmm. and, um, there's, you know, we all have, we, we all I deal with my share of perfect. mental health issues, yeah. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> so. but there is a, um, a theme, uh, consistency that Jen and I are seeing, Jimmy, which is, um, these women will come on, uh, different, lots of different channels. Um, my friend who is a therapist has a theory. Um, so we're curious what you guys think. Um, I tend to lean towards agreeing with this theory, but she's like, you know, if you've been in that prison, if you've been married to someone, you have someone in your family that is whatever, it's a common thing when you're not with that person to feel isolated. So then what you do, so then what some women do and men is they gravitate to, to these channels, um, in order to feel connected totally get that if this was around while mitch was in prison i totally would have i totally would have yeah, i don't know that i've gone on 50 different ones but i would have definitely gravitated towards yeah. some specific ones that were closest to our story or closest to right which is kind of life or whatever yeah. um but what we're seeing is and so she said um they want to make a connection but really they want to make a connection with that person who's actually owns that channel whether and so, um, so she's like, you better watch out. <laughs> and so, yeah. so I'm like, okay. I'm like, I, for the most part, I've not had, we have not had the experience, but I'm going to say right. to you twice we have. And so, and I yeah. I co-sign that. I remember. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so, and then, you know, it's interesting because um, in both instances, um, they'll like, they'll Instagram him and, uh, constantly, you know what I mean? And, um, uh, it's not disrespectful or any of that, but it's just a lot of info and a lot of communication for, mm -hmm. I, I don't know what, whatever anyways, but that's her, that's, that was my friend's kind of analogy is that she's like, you know, this is what happens. They want to be connected. And I do understand that. But when you throw mental health issues, the people that have them, it can get a little, um, obviously not for Mitch, but for me, it can be a little jarring and a little put me at, at um, unease. It made me feel uneasy. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, I don't know how I would deal with that. So it, yeah. It yeah. Be, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just like, I feel for these women, but I mean, I honest, I feel for them, but on the same level, when you have people like that are writing Chris Watts. If you don't know who he is, look him up. He's a scumbag. He is the yeah. absolute bottom of the, he killed his kids yeah. mm -hmm. um, and his wife, wife. Yeah. in a really heinous ways. And um, people, just like Scott Peterson, they write him. They love that shit. They're just like- He's got marriage you know, proposals. Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get know. it at all. At all. But we're curious if any, any, and we're, again, we, I wouldn't, neither one of us would bash you. We are just very curious no. about why. It's just an interesting topic. Like I really am intrigued by what, you know, I just want to figure it out, you know, and as, as far as, you know, following the prison channels and stuff like that, yeah, I get that because yes, I do follow, you know, right. I've got several, a handful of channels. Yeah. yeah. It's a sense of community for me. Absolutely. One who's incarcerated. Right. But, you know, there's, there's a, you draw the line somewhere. You don't get too invasive with uh, that person on a personal right. level, you know, especially if they're married. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it is, it, you know, it is like, I get it. Like I, I do get it, you know, um, but I just think it's, I do get that. Like, I I feel the same. Like I, Mitch does not Mitch. Uh, let me, that's my disclaimer. Yeah, I go and I look at all different channels because I'm, 
I want to know what's going on. I want to know what people are saying. It's kind of like current events. It's like my newspaper, right? Yeah. So like, yes. I, like I just go in there and I check them out. And, um, and there's some that we follow that Mitch really, really does really have likes. Do you mean? And so, um, like, you know, he likes that. There's a whole bunch of them anyway. So yeah. we'll go on there. Some of them, I just go on there cause I'm a chick and I like to see, I I'm kind of, you know, I like a little drama every now and then, you know, so I, I like to yeah. check that stuff out. Nothing but wrong with a little cheese man every now and then. That's right. But that's a whole different, when I yeah. see this stuff and it's like, it's funny because, um, I see people that, uh, are on other channels I wouldn't touch with a million foot pole, but, and it surprises me, right? I'll be like, oh, that's, you know, that's interesting. But just yeah. because, but then I think to my, them, uh, then I think to myself, they're probably doing the same thing I am. Yeah. I'm out there just checking it. You know what I mean? I'm just right. checking it out or whatever. I hear you. So, yeah. uh, but I think the thing is, is that um, you can't take everything at, if you're going to put your shit out there and you're going to call it, then you better right. expect to get questions. Right. You know, and here's where I'll go ahead and use myself for an example. Yeah. I realized, and we, you and I discussed this in the past before, you know, considering yeah. starting a channel myself, yeah. I knew I would get some hate. I mean, and that's okay. I don't like what my brother did, but right. he's my brother. Right. Now people are going to feel the way they feel that's okay. But you know what I mean? I don't, I wouldn't place myself in a situation where I'm asking someone specifically, yeah. hey, what do you think about my brother doing this? Right. this? Right. I already Who's know the answer. Right. I don't need to ask. I know the answer. You know right. what I mean? And you know, I think that's, like I said to you the other day, I think that's different. Like you and I had said to you, yeah. you know, I've often thought about God forbid, what if my child did something or my, I don't have brothers and sisters, but if my brother or sister or whatever did something like that, did something to those categories, women, children, old people, how would I feel about that? And I don't know because I don't, I haven't had that happen, but thank God. Um, but that wouldn't stop that fact that that person's my brother or sister. That doesn't end because that happened. When you're a wife or a husband, that's a, that's a choice. Being a brother or sister, that is not a choice. No. Being a parent or whatever, that I is have not a, a choice. Difficult time with my brother didn't have funny charges like that. Right. Uh, so I didn't have to deal with that, but I don't know that I could. Right. You I mean, yeah. I, I, it just makes me cringe. Right. I don't know. And, and, I, and so that's something that actually I. I think both of us would be really interested to know is that if you had somebody that was your, your immediate relative, parents, children, um, brothers, sisters, whatever, and you have the situation, um, where they were in for something that's a funny charge, how do you navigate through that? Like how, you know, do you forgive them? Um, and again, I'm not making a judgment cause I've never been in that position before as a family member. But like for Jen's circumstance, um, you know, it was her family member. It wasn't a funny charge, but it was her dad. Do you know I mean so? And Jen was really apprehensive when we first, you know, she waited a long time before we yeah, did a video. Really on it. Did. And, uh, but, you know, we realized too, it can be very cathartic. But it is. Also, and, but like you said, yeah. you were also very aware that once you put it out there, yeah, it's out there. You don't know what people are going to say. Right. And I did receive, mm -hmm. there were a few times that I received the, the, you love a murder or you're disgusting, yeah. you, you know, stuff like that. And yeah. you know what? Yeah. It hurt. It stung, but you know what I mean? It's a comment. It, it can be deleted. They can go oh, like a duck Look at these right. people in the eye every day. Yeah. I have to be myself. And as long as I'm telling the truth right. and be honest with myself, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's your, and so that's really what makes me think that there might be some issues that whatever, I'm not here to dissect her, but I really believe that if you're going to put something out like that and then be like, 
and then just drop off of that conversation, but then come on the comments and I called it a drive by because that's what I call those. Then I'm pretty sure you wanted a reason to exit out of YouTube. Um, and then uh, she went in on a couple of our friends um, also subs uh, went in on them and I'm, which I'm not okay level. with that's, you know, mm -hmm. but she friended these people. So they would talk to her because she was like, but she never gave the whole story. Do you mean, so it was not like, you know, this is what the charge was. This is what it was. You're either going to support me or not. Let's move on. It was like, that was more like, I'm going to bait you a little bit. Do you mean, so I don't know. It was just weird. Yeah. It is weird. And I want to make it, I mean, I think we already made the um, difference. You know, this is obviously we're talking about people with funny charges. Right. I have a couple friends who are married to lifers or somebody with a long sentence. And I'll be completely honest, their relationships are way healthier than any of mine have ever been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I completely support those that are in it for real. You know that's what I mean? 100%. They're, they're full yeah. heart in it. Yeah. And I commend them for holding it down. Yeah. It's not an easy, that's a whole nother, that's the, no. for Jen and I, that's a right. whole nother video, but yeah. it's yeah. true though. I mean, like, you know, I, um, it takes a special kind of individual, um, to, and I'm, you know, Jen and I did one about stigma that I was hesitant to put yeah. up just because timing with stuff or whatever, but it's it's still it's very relevant so we'll put that one up pretty soon um yeah well, that was one of the things we talked about is just how you know the stigma is already bad enough if someone has a life sentence for yeah. not a funny charge right so um and you still have to explain yourself and you still have to feel you get looked at you know even though mitch is out that that stigma still exists you guys have still dealt with challenges, I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. So mm -hmm. I kind of feel like, I don't want to say it's, I don't want to say a mockery is made out of it with shit like that, that we were talking about, but it is right. kind of, because it's like, you cannot compare that to somebody in there with a funny ass charge. Like you can't yeah. be like, I'm a stick by my man and you know, whatever. No, that's like, my and, man. And I, you know, that's my man. I, I and love that. Like mm, that just yeah. seems to me, it's just crazy to me. So, yeah. Um, yeah. so anyways, I just, we kind of wanted to know what everybody thought about that. Um, if you know who I'm talking about, please be respectful and do not. No hateful comments. If you do, yeah. we'll delete them. Um, yeah. I just, if she chooses to come on and open the door, then by all means do what you need to do. But I just, I'm not going to have it. And even if she does come on, I just don't want, you know. Drama or, yeah. and yeah. that's one thing that I want to mention, me. just, you know, as a, a viewer and a subscriber also, I have been, you know, blessed enough to witness how very kind and compassionate you and Mitch both have been to that person as well yeah. as many others, including myself. So um, to see those comments and that kind of language be kind of weaponized towards yeah. you guys when yeah. it's been nothing but That's a very good point. I didn't even it really, it, it bothered me on a personal level. Yeah. 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 It bothered a lot of people. I got a lot of messages. So did from I. People. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, is that I, I, and then I'm thinking to myself, you're not on your channel. And even if you were on your channel, like you're on Mitch's channel and like, you're going to say this. So Again, yeah. everybody, it, so people like to come for me and Jen and be like, um, oh, not a lot, just a little, like, oh, yeah. you guys are all about the drama. Get to the point. Whatever. <laughs> so I uh, said, so yeah. kind of it in a nutshell is that we're just curious to see what you guys think about. We're pretty sure we know what most of you think about that, but maybe it's a difference of opinion. And even if you do yeah. have a different opinion, we're not going to slam you for it. We're just curious to, like, why? In your head, what makes that, makes that, um, makes that, okay and where are you up like with forgiveness and why do you think why do you think that is and do, are you aware of how the general public feels about that and yeah. your opinion about that absolutely you know absolutely. and another you know just one last point as far as going back to the comments i wanted to make sure and touch on this also um speaking about her experience you know uh being a, a victim of certain things 
I would never shame any victim. And I also want to say, don't assume that, uh, yeah. I can only speak for myself, but just for example, myself or Adrian or anyone else has not dealt with um, maybe similar things or maybe something in that same category, just because we haven't um, put about little details out. You know what I mean? Don't assume we haven't been through something in life too. Right. Really good point, sweetie. Good job, Shannon. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's another thing. We don't know what everybody's walk of life, and I would never assume what anybody's walk of life is. It, you know, some people are more open about it than others. Some take people longer than others. And in the world that we kind of live in right now, um, uh, Jen's younger than I am, but we both came from time periods where things were uh, just ignored. Yeah. And walk by and you didn't talk about certain things. So um, I'm glad that women are talking about it, but I also think you've got to remember for that. I don't really, I'm not a big believer. This is my personal thing about triggering people and whatever, like I, you have a choice whether to watch it, see it, whatever, turn it off if you don't want to. Um, but people's, some people's triggers are bigger, right? And so yeah. when I read that, I did read the whole thing that she wrote. Um, it was pretty graphic. And I thought yeah. to myself, gosh, if somebody is reading this who hasn't thought about that episode in their life for a really long time, uh, I could totally see why this would trigger someone. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it, you know, it was difficult uh, reading it, but it was difficult to even get that out of my mind for a couple of days. Me too. Me, yeah, me too. It, me too. It was true. Yeah. yeah. And it just was, but it, I think too, it's one thing if you... Okay, it's one thing if I come on here and I say I was, and this isn't, sh again, I'm not shaming, I'm just stating kind of in the general public how I think this looks. So if I had something happen to me that way and I wanted to divulge it, I would say I was molested when I was 11. And uh, if I felt the need to discuss that or I needed to, to make me feel better, which a lot of people do, and I think it can be cathartic at times, but that timing has to be your timing and the correct, the, the venue for you to do that in, whether it's your yeah. YouTube channel or whether it is uh, you're writing a journal or a book, or you're talking to a therapist, whatever, that's your time. But to make that such a detailed um, uh, blow by blow event, um, yeah. I just think it's just... It's not a good venue to do it. No, it, there's a time and a place for everything. And yeah. I do have a, one video myself speaking of an incident that happened to me. It's yeah. not nearly as graphic, but right. I that on my own platform. Right. I wouldn't interject that onto somebody else's platform, you know, just respectfully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Um, and, and, and that's, a, and again, it's cathartic. And I understand that. And I think that, um, on certain, uh, like you said, like if you have your own channel and you want to talk about that, like Mitch has talked about mental health on, on some of his videos about what that, you know, what that looks like for him. And I know they're not the same, but I'm just saying that, that I, I don't know, like, it's just, it's, I don't know. I think it's just disrespectful to the little girl in you. And I think that like, you just should, you know, um, that's just, that's my opinion. I think it's Jen's too, but I just, you know, yeah, it was pretty graphic and I'm not going to put it up there. Um, I'll block some stuff out of it. Once I put it, I'll put this up with this video. It'll be at the end. Um, so totally free to check that out, but I'm, it's not on our channel anymore, but I will put some of it up. Yeah. So yeah, that way people can get an idea. Yeah. But yeah. we wanted to know what you guys felt about that. And, uh, if you were as, would you be just like, oh, well, it's not a big deal and you should just keep it moving or whatever. Like I just, you know, we're just curious. Yeah. About thing about Ladies and gentlemen, situation. like men and women, I would be curious, you know, both points of view. Well, it's even like, look at, uh, look at, there's some YouTubers out there that have funny charges and they have YouTube channels. Yeah. So obviously it's okay in some people's minds because they sub and they follow. Mm -hmm. And, um, so just because, and then, you know, you'll hear things like, oh, well, that was a long time ago. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? long and time ago. Yeah. Like, what the hell? These kind oh. of things are part of 
people's character. Uh, you know what I mean? So time doesn't really matter. And another great thing about us talking and I just always feel like, hey, if, if somebody has a concern or they feel like they disagree with you on something, it's so easy to shoot you an email or even just write, hey, you know, Adrian, can you get at me? Jen, can you get at me? Right. You know, I want to talk about something. Right. You don't have to blast it out there yep. you know, on somebody else's platform. And, you know, I you actually sent her a message on that same yeah. live and I said, yeah. email me at this, at, at our email address. And I said, and I'll give you my number. Do you mean like, oh, like we can talk or something? I said yeah. that, but I said, email me so we can talk. Like, if you want to talk about this, even after that, I extended it even um, after that. Um, but I got nothing. So. So there it is. Yeah. There, there it is there. So you guys make sure. Okay. I'm, uh, oh, sorry. Say <laughs> close. Thank you guys for tuning in, for watching. Um, send you guys a ton of love and blessings. You guys stay positive. Um, be kind to each other, be compassionate. Something comes up in life, talk it out. It doesn't have to go sideways. You know what I mean? We're all grown ups here. And uh, tell us what you think down in the comment section. Thanks, Jen. That Thanks. was a good one. Appreciate it. Yeah. Good night, everybody.